Okay, so the first video that we're gonna get into is about a ball below the feet lie, or ball below your feet lie. So sometimes this is called downhill lie. It's actually, I think, probably the best way to, term, to phrase it is ball below your feet. So when I'm standing on a hill, I've got the ball down below my feet. And we're actually gonna learn a lot about the geometry of the club, and we're gonna use this lesson to kind of build on for all of our shots. Um, the first thing we need to understand is that the way the club sits on the ground is going to influence the flight of the ball a lot. So I'll use this condition um, to give you a, a full understanding of that. When I'm set up to a, a golf ball on a flat lie, I've got my club sitting at the same, the club is sitting at the same height as my feet or the ball is sitting at the same height as my feet. So now my club should sole flat on the ground. So the bottom of the club will sit flat on the ground. And because of that, the club face will be angled straight to, to where I think or where I intend to aim it. If I change that, if the club's no longer sitting flat on the ground, if the club is sitting at an angle where the toe is up off the ground or if the toe is down, that's going to change the direction that the club face points. And the more loft we have on the club, the more it's, that's going to change. That's the geometry we need to think about when we're, when we're thinking about all of our shots. We're just specifically talking about the downhill, or the ball below our feet, sorry, lie, and the ball above our feet lie uh, first, but we'll see that how this influences the loft when we're setting up in a divot, when we're setting up on a downhill or an uphill lie. So specifically with the ball below your feet lie, it's kind of an interesting one because with the rest of our lies, as you'll see, it's kind of like we're taking a tripod and we've got this tripod set up at the perfect height for a flat ground shot. But when we move into a different lie, whether it's an uphill lie or a ball above our feet lie, it changes the way the tripod's sitting, so it changes kind of the way our club soles on the ground. When the ball's below our feet, if we did take that tripod and just tilt it forward, that would tilt the club down and the club would sole then flat on the ground or the bottom of the club would be at the same angle as the slope. So if that were the case, and I've got a, a ball below my feet lie, if I tilt the club down slightly, that's gonna point, make the face point to the right of my target. So you might have heard this adage, or you might have heard this kind of thing to try to remember, when the ball's below your feet, it tends to go right. When the ball's above your feet, it tends to go left. Well, the reason for that is because that's the direction the face points. So what really happens in this situation is, we get set up and we accommodate the slope by squatting more. So the reason we do that is because if we tried to just tilt the tripod or tilt our body forward, we'd be so far forward on the balls of our feet that we, we couldn't stand and, and have any balance. So we get set up and we get comfortable and we end up just kind of squatting more. And because we squat more, now the club doesn't fit the slope. This is one of the very few shots on an uneven lie where the club doesn't actually fit the slope very well. So now the club is actually more just pointed straight to the target that where we're aimed, where we think we're aimed. I'm gonna get balanced. I'm gonna get set up and I'm gonna get balanced and I'm gonna get the face pointed where I want that ball to go and then I'm gonna swing in that direction. And then the final piece about how to handle this ball below the feet lie, it's definitely going to benefit us to use more club but with a smaller swing. Because the ball's below my feet, because I'm sort of squatting more and trying to just get comfortable on this slope, I don't want to make a big obnoxious swing that's going to throw me out of balance. So I'm going to go ahead and make a swing and hit a shot here, and then I'm going to make a three-quarter swing so I feel like I can stay under control and, and in balance. So that ball flew pretty much dead straight. It didn't have fade, it didn't really have draw. Remember that the face dictates where the ball starts. And if we're going to accommodate that slope by kind of squatting more, getting comfortable on that slope, the face is still gonna point at the target. Let's just remember to use a little bit more club so we can make a smaller swing and stay balanced. 